Mexico to fingerprint phone users in fight to fight crime. That's Reuters. Here's another one. London Guardian. Caught in the crossfire of an unwinnable war. Oh, they could win it. They could decriminalize the drugs and they'd have almost no value. Be as valuable as coffee or beans. Be as valuable as corn. Maybe a little more. But no, that's never going to happen. You cannot decriminalize it because that's what the private intelligence agencies are using to overthrow 100 plus years ago China, to overthrow Afghanistan, to overthrow the United States, to overthrow Mexico. And remember what I played yesterday. Remember what I played here on air. In fact, I ought to just play it again for new listeners. Fox News comes out and reports what we already knew, but the incredible thing is it's out in the open that the U.S. Army is helping grow and protect the record levels of opium since our government took over that are pouring out of Afghanistan into the United States, and it's what we have to do. In fact, look right over here. Look right here. Document cam on this. NATO rejects Russian call for Afghan poppy spring. The Russians said, why don't you just eradicate the poppy fields? It would take a few weeks to do it. Why don't you just spray them? And NATO said, we're not going to do that. Here's the New York Times. U.S. turns a blind eye to opium in Afghan town. And this is a tactic they use. It's going on all over the country. But they just come out with one town where it's happening. Well, we played you the video of the Marine commander saying, I don't like it, but we've got to do this. We've got to help them grow their crops because if we don't, they'll side with the Taliban. And, and the Orwellian headline is, fighting the opium trade, U.S. troops fight vicious circle. In fact, people won't believe it. Cue up the video to the start. Let's just play a few minutes of that before I explain what's going to be done to the United States and Mexico. This is the implosion of North America into the North American Union. Judicial Watch sued in 2007, got the documents from the SPP meeting, Security Prosperity Partnership, and they said, we will use deteriorating security issues in Mexico to merge the three nations and to have our military joint train. We will use biological events like flu, and we will use financial collapse to do it. Mexico has now completely collapsed. And, and, and look, the same thing is now being proposed here in the United States. Everyone that gets a cell phone under the 1996 law, your cell phone's being tracked, traced, everything's being recorded, Everything's being controlled. It's totally illegal. They pass it in a spending bill to put the control grid in, but legally it's, 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 it's unlawful. Here's Reuters. Mexico to fingerprint phone users in crime fight. In crime fight. The government is waging war against smaller cartels that aren't laundering their money through their system. When U.S. troops are down in Colombia, it's on record that they have GPS systems where they only spray certain coca fields. They don't spray the others that they control. You see, so there is some war going on in Afghanistan, but that's only to mop up groups and tribes that are growing poppies that produce opium and heroin that aren't paying their cut. It's $500 billion a year industry out of Afghanistan, over $500 billion on narcotics coming into the United States out of Mexico every year. And now because the troops are speaking up, now because the troops are informed, now because the troops are involved, now because the troops know what's going on, they're going, why are we here growing opium? They have to come out and hide it in plain view and go, it's no big deal, guys. Everybody knows. See, here's Geraldo. We're on TV. They have the troops all stand around, and they hear Geraldo explain how it's okay with the commander to just normalize it, to hide the thing in plain view. Remember just six months ago, I was a kook liar for saying our government's controlling almost all the opium in Afghanistan and shipping it in? Now it's in your face. But see how they use this police state as a pretext to control our lives, run checkpoints, federalize our police. And then in Mexico, they just tell the public, you've got a thumbprint to get a phone. Everything you do is recorded. Everywhere you go is tracked, or you can't have a cell phone. And what Carlos Slim, the richest guy in the world, he owns almost all of the cell phone systems, has almost a complete monopoly in Mexico. One of the poorest groups of people, the richest guy, reportedly on paper, He's nouveau riche. The real money hides it, like the Rockefellers and others. Mexico to fingerprint phone users in crime fight. Mexico will start a national register of mobile phone users that will include fingerprinting all customers in an effort to catch criminals who use the devices to extort money and negotiate kidnapping ransoms. 
So see, because somebody uses a phone for drug dealing or somebody might use a phone for kidnapping, we've got to now register and track everything you do. Somebody might use propane as a bomb. Now we've got to register propane. Somebody might use gasoline as a bomb. Now we've got to register and make you have a license to buy gas and track everything you do. Somebody might use a car as a weapon. Now we've got to restrict your cars. Somebody might use a baseball bat. Now we've got to restrict baseball bats. Somebody might use a butcher knife. England's already doing that, making you get licenses for knives. They're proposing it. Somebody might use a gun in a crime. So we've got to take all your guns or register them. See how this psychology works? Mexico will start a national register of mobile phone users that will include fingerprinting all customers in an effort to catch criminals who use devices to extort money and negotiate kidnapping ransoms. No, now they'll just come in with sat phones that cost 500 bucks as if they won't get those. No, they want to keep track of their slaves. This is total martial law. Under a new law pushed on Monday and due to be enforced in April, mobile phone companies will have a year to build up a database of their clients complete with fingerprints. The idea would be to match calls and messages to the phone owners. Hundreds of people are kidnapped in Mexico every year. How about thousands? And the number of victims is rising sharply as drug gangs under pressure from any army crackdown seek new income. This is lawmakers pushed the bill through Congress last week. So, so that's the type of news that we have here. This is a total criminal system taking over. And the United States in the SPP, North American Union documents, three years ago, they said, we will use deteriorating security in the U.S. from Mexico as a pretext to go after people's freedoms. They said, we'll use uh, a, 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 a global government, North American Union, this is a quote, by stealth approach, also for carbon taxes. And who runs that SPP council? the State Departments of Mexico, Canada, and the U.S., and they sit on boards, this is in the documents, thousands of pages, that we've read and then shot video of, and I put in my film, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. All admitted what they're going to do. If you don't decriminalize drugs now, we are going to collapse just like Mexico. And the kidnappings are already exploding everywhere. And when the illegals kidnap your kids, they just keep it real quiet. It's, you know, if somebody else kidnaps a kid, it's, it's frothing and crying and freaking out. And the feds are going to save us. And it's all over the news and press conferences. But when people are being kidnapped every day in Texas, in Arizona, in California, in Nevada, it's, your kid doesn't even get a milk carton. And then you pay the 500 grand or whatever, your whole family sells everything they got, and then you might be lucky if your kid comes back. And they chop a finger off, send it back, doesn't make the news. Illegals burn Santa Cruz, set fires, run around racially attacking people. Makes the local news, but on the local news, they don't even tell you it was illegals, but the AP went and noticed it was their own website bragging it was a, quote, immigrant march. Like, where's that headline again? I'll just... Uh... I'll just neurotically read you that uh, headline again. Here we go. Mm -hmm. ABC News, San Francisco. AP, 18 businesses damaged after immigrants' rights march turns violent. Turns violent. Riot breaks out in downtown Santa Cruz, carrying torches. But the mainstream media wants to know why everybody's tuning out, why people don't trust them, why people don't, don't believe anything they say anymore. It's because of stuff like this. It should be all over the news what happened. We're going to come back and take your calls, and Greg Palace is coming up with us. And I haven't even gotten into the banking takeover yet. We'll be covering that uh, with him. And then I want to get into this article that is so important. Orwellian Big Brother tax collection commercial airs in Pennsylvania. Wait till you see and hear this. But closing out on the subject of Mexico, here's another one we mentioned earlier, KnoxNews.com, Knoxville News. Deputy sees $105,000 that for Mexicans deny cash was theirs. They just let them go. Oh, you got $105,000 of drug money in your car? You're, you're illegal aliens in the U.S.? You're driving a rent car? Bye-bye. You're gone. We're going to let you go. Meanwhile, they're announcing that in the legalization immigration bill, it's a national ID card, this is AP, included in, in Democratic immigration bill. But citizens have to have it. The illegals are exempt. 
So see, they tell you there's an amnesty bill, and it is an amnesty bill. It fixes the illegal alien problem because it just legalizes them. But then you as a citizen have got a federal ID you've got to have to get your paycheck and to buy and sell for the new national sales tax. you got to have that new card, slaves. Oh, my sinuses. They feel like they'll explode. Sinus pressure, sinus headaches that keep you up at night. You've struggled for years. You've tried everything to get relief, but your sinus distress just keeps coming back and robbing you of the healthy life you deserve. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. Statistics show that 37 million Americans suffer from sinus distress. Fact is, 67 products merely treat the symptoms and don't get to the cause of your sinus problem. Now there's a solution that's safe and doctor-recommended. Sinofresh homeopathic antiseptic nasal spray. It's the only patent-protected nasal product that antiseptically eliminates the known causes of your sinusitis. No alcohol, no rebound congestion, no drug interactions, and easy to use. Don't go another day just treating symptoms. Take control of your sinus health now and get Sinofresh homeopathic antiseptic nasal spray and get the relief you deserve. Go to buysinofresh.com. That's B-U-Y, sinofresh.com. Or call 888.